Avanil Kumar and here is another question to practice for probability test. The question is two dice are rolled. What is the probability of a sum of five in each of three rolls? That means two dice are rolled three times in this particular case, right? What is the probability of a sum of five in each roll? So that's the question for you. You can pause the video, answer the question. So what we're trying to say here is that, let's say this is our die one, this is number two. They are both rolled. So you could get numbers like one to six, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now what is the probability to get sum of five? So sum of five you can get when the combinations are one and four. This is one combination. Or it is two and three. Or it is three and two. Or it is one and four, right? So these are four combinations. Out of how many? Out of six times six. 36, correct? So in each row, so we have so two dies are rolled three times. That is the scenario. What is the probability of sum of five in each? We want sum of five in each. You can clearly see this is kind of an independent event, right? It is an independent event. So in the first roll, so we can do one by one. So let's, just, let's call this as a first set of rolls. So in the first set of rolls, the probability is 4 out of 36, correct? So let me write down this probability as 4 out of 36, since these are the four combinations, which will give you sum as 4. Similarly, in the second roll also, it is not going to change. It is going to remain the same, so it will be 4 out of 36 times 4 out of 36. So in consecutive rows, the probability is going to remain same as this is an independent event. So we can write down that the probability for 5 sum in 3 rows is equal to product of these from counting principles. So it is 4 over 36 times 4 over 36 times 4 over 36, which is uh, 1 over 9 cube, right? We could write 1 over 9 times 1 over 9 times 1 over 9, and that is equal to, we can multiply 9 3 times, or 9 cube is equal to 729, so we get 1 over 729 as our answer. So our answer is 1 over 729. Is it okay? So that is how you can solve this question. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.